At any given time, as you work with Excel, you are working with a workbook. A workbook is a file, a file is a workbook, the terms are interchangeable. Currently on the screen, we're seeing a workbook with the name Getting Started. Like all workbooks, it is comprised of one or more worksheets. Currently on the screen, we see 2013 products revenue. This is a worksheet. To the right of it is another worksheet. So I slide the mouse over it and click. We're now looking at the revenue chart and then another sheet to the right, the profits sheet. If you start with a blank workbook in Excel, the sheet names are sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. You can add sheets anytime you wish. You can rename them anytime you wish. You can delete worksheets. It may not be obvious at first as to why you would want to have more than one worksheet within a workbook, but over time you'll realize that storing data in different worksheets within the same workbook makes sense. For any given worksheet, like the current one, we see letters across the top of each column. The words column and row cannot be used interchangeably as we work with Excel. A column is vertical, it's identified by letters. As I use the right arrow here, we see the column letters off to the right. As you would expect, that lettering scheme goes to the letter Z, then it starts over again with A, 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 B, and so on. If I press control right arrow here, we'll see that the last column is XFD. Now that's a bit of trivia, but the idea is we've got over 16,000 columns. The file you work with doesn't get any larger just because there's 16,000 columns. It's what you use within the worksheet that makes a difference. As I press control left arrow here, we'll go back over to the left-hand side. Excel has over 16,000 columns. It also has many, many rows. They're identified by numbers down the left-hand side. And as I press the down arrow here, of course, you could imagine we could be doing this for a long, long time. I'm going to press control down arrow and you can see we have over a million rows. A quick way to get back to the upper left hand corner of any worksheet is with the keystroke combination control home. Now at any given time, as we perhaps use the arrow keys or maybe we use a mouse to click on the intersection of a row and column, each one of these is called a cell. And so this particular cell right here is in column F. It's in row five. Therefore, this cell is referred to as cell F5. And you'll also see in the upper left-hand corner, in the section right here called the name box, you'll see the name of the current cell. And as you work with Excel, it's just second nature to identify particular portions of the data by their locations, by their cell addresses. We're now in cell G5, now we're in cell G6. So as we work with a file, it's called a workbook, and our workbooks consist of one or more worksheets.